guess who's back? Back again, I am. That was it's an old song. I oh, should have started from the bottom now here. Whole team's here. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to refer to a video we watched earlier, but I'm going to watch it again real quick. You all see this? You see that? Oh, you can see my camera. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so the ball rolled down and then rolled across. Okay, we did this earlier in another example. If you want to see it, go take a look. Man, I got a pretty voice, and by that I mean I need to work on my voice. Okay, so let's answer some questions based on that video. I've already graphed it for you. We got time in seconds. It's our independent variable because time is independent. It's an independent. All the women who are independent, you're probably named time. Eh, doesn't have the same flow, does it? And this is your elevation. You started about a foot off the ground, it rolls, gets faster, so therefore it gets, over time, it increases in speed, therefore it goes down further faster, and then boom, when it hits the ground, it's not going up or down anymore. The elevation is not increasing or decreasing, it just rolls across the ground. Okay? So, let's answer some questions based on this. In the last video, jump video, check it out. Jump, jump, everybody jump. I don't know why I sing things sometimes. Okay, so it says, from the time of about 1.7 seconds onward, so about right here onward, the graph is a flat horizontal line. All right, if the dude in the video, let's call him Ken because that's what it says his name is, uh, puts his foot on the ball at time two seconds, like right in here, if he stomps the ball from rolling forward, how will this affect the graph of elevation versus time change? Okay, is that going to change anything on our graph? What you think? No, it's not. Because our graph is a comparison of time and elevation, not speed, not velocity, not distance. It's time and elevation. This thing could have hit the end and stopped and it would still look the same because it just means it's not going up or down over time. Okay? That's all the up and down means is how high it is off the ground. So it wouldn't have changed anything if the dude would have stopped it. If he kicked it across the ground, as long as it didn't bounce up or down off the ground, it just rolled, it would have changed the thing. He could have stopped it right there. You can't see my foot, but I'm stopping it right there. The foot stops here. The ball stops here. It just, it stops. It doesn't change it, okay? Estimate the number of inches of change in elevation of the ball from 0 seconds to 0.5 seconds. So from here to about right here, okay? Let's say that's, for continuity's sake, let's say that's about an 11, okay? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find the, what did I say? Estimate the number of inches of change in elevation of the ball from 0 to 0.5. Also, estimate the change in elevation from the ball between 1 and 1.5. So right here, about 10, I'd say, to 1.5, which was right there, which is, I would say, probably around, that's 5, correct? Okay, so 10, 11, 10, 5, okay. All right, now let's find the rate of change, which is our rise over run, correct? Okay, so we want to do this one and this one. So we go from 12 over the course of 0.5 seconds, which is our run, that's how far it goes over. So over 0.5 seconds, it goes about 1, correct? Down 1. It goes from here to here, which is down 1. So negative 1 over 0.5, which we want that a pretty slope would be negative two. That's a point, not a negative. So the slope right here is about negative two. A rate of change is about negative one over 0.5, depending on how your teacher wants you to write that. Okay? Now, now if you drew your graph differently, it won't look different. This is what I assumed. I didn't break down the video. If you can have a, uh, like an iPad or a video, break it down and do this exact. Okay? I'm just estimating. Or guesstimating. Okay? So, here, here, it was about from 10 to 5. That means my run, I'm sorry, my rise, I went down how far? 5, so negative 5. Over, how far is my run from 1 to 1.5? Is that what I said? Yes. So it's about 0.5 seconds. So the run was there. If I want to make this a straight up slope, it would be negative 10 over 1 or however you want to write it. But if you want to look at it in the context of the graph, it goes negative 5 over 0.5. So it go down five feet for every 0.5 seconds, okay? Or inches, there you go. So, last question on this. At what point is the speed of the ball the fastest? Near the top of the ramp, at the beginning of the journey, or near the bottom of the ramp, okay? Does this support it? I would say it gets faster right here, because you think of 
the amount of speed it picks up, you know, you're driving a truck down a hill, it gets faster, and you have to start putting the brakes, because that cop will be like, doo, 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 doo. they're going to die on a ticket. How many have fun? I'm going to buy me a hat. Okay. I don't know. They don't get that money, right? I don't know how that works. I'm a math teacher. Okay? I would say it gets faster from here to here. Now, does this support this answer? Yes. Because this is saying it's going for 0.5 seconds, this goes down one. For 0.5 seconds, this goes down five feet. It's going down faster for that 0.5 seconds, that half second, it goes faster and covers more ground, okay? Or more ruler of the video. Okay, whatever. Okay. All right, now, how does your answer B support it? I'd say it supports it pretty well. The exact answer was speed of the ball the fastest near the bottom of the ramp. Um, speed's greater near the bottom of the ramp. I just read the first and last sentence. I feel like reading the rest. That's pretty much it, dude. I'm so proud of you. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. What up? Thank you for watching the video. I for real, for real appreciate that. You know I do. You know I do, girl. Um, or dude, whatever. Okay, so, if you could, real quick, I'm going to run through. Check me out on Facebook. If you want, just type in Tyler Tarver. It'll pop up Tyler Tarver is okay. Or you can just go facebook.com slash Tyler's okay. Or you can just do fb.com slash Tyler's okay. Yeah, Facebook jumped on that. Got the fb.com. Good job, Facebook. Check me out on Twitter, Tyler Tarver. Twitter.com slash Tyler Tarver. T Y L E R T A R V E R. Blah. Check out Instagram. Just search Tyler Tarver. Once again, blah. I got have Tyler Tarver and everything except for Facebook. It's Tyler's okay. Did my best. Sorry, Mom. Okay? If you want, um, you can check out my website. It's TylerTarver.com. Or if you're on YouTube, you just click this. It'll take you to my regular YouTube page where I post videos that are less math and more not math. I try to be funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then you go to TarverAcademy.com. It's got a lot of math videos. Try to organize them for you. Got tons of math videos. Little help videos. Some that are just off there. Some where I'm up here. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. All right. And then you can also click that if you're on YouTube. And it'll take you to my math channel, which is YouTube.com slash Sir Tyler Tarver. So if you're interested in math videos, I've got a ton of math videos on there. And I'm putting more on there all the time. So in conclusion, you just go ahead and go to the Facebook page. You know, be a, you know, click a like or whatever. Check out the Twitter, follow, and then you go to Instagram, you're like, ah, oh, well, then you're going to go over here, and you're going to subscribe to this YouTube channel, which is just search Tyler Tarver, it's the only ones that don't have math videos, and then you search Tyler Tarver, pops up this one, so, just going to wait, I'll just wait right here, just wait right here for you to go do all those things, just click it, and it'll probably pop it in the window, just, just go ahead and search, and get your phone out, whatever, you can just, just wait. I really am going to wait until you go do all of the things that I asked you to do. That's all I'm asking. Just go do all the stuff that I ask. <laughs>